Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's your girl Ellie and today I am back with a really exciting video. Today's video will be me updating you from my um, last update from 20 weeks to 25 weeks. Um, I think I'd done the video when I was around 21 weeks. Um, I'm not too sure, but I can't remember. So I thought it's time to update you guys of what's been going on, what's been happening. And in all fairness, not too much has been happening over these past few weeks. Um, I have obviously been buying her loads of stuff um, these past few weeks. I've literally bought her so much stuff. Um, a lot of it arrived in the post, which I will be doing a newborn essential haul soon. So make sure you stay around for that. Um, what else has been happening? So I had my last midwife appointment on Tuesday. Everything was fine. Baby's heartbeat was fine. Um, I am not booked in for another scan with the NHS as there's no concerns around her growth, around what, like, what she's doing. So I've got no more NHS scans. So I am booking to go private. Um because I've still got 13, near enough 14 weeks left and I don't want to like not see her for that long on screen. So yeah, I will be booking a private scan. Um, I feel like the past few weeks I have got really, really big out of like nowhere. Um, all of a sudden my bumps just come out of nowhere and I'm hardly fitting in any of my clothes. Um, it is so, so annoying. Um, I've just ordered some maternity stuff, so they will be arriving. It said five working days. So, yeah, so hopefully this week they will be arriving. Um, I want to do a try and haul of maternity stuff for you guys. So that will be coming out shortly um, after I've ordered a few more bits for that, as I've never, ever worn maternity clothes. But I feel like I am going to be huge. I've just got a big feeling I'm going to be massive because I'm already quite big. And um, obviously, yeah, I'm 26 weeks. So I've still got a while to go and I'm massive. So, yeah, that's what has so far been happening. Um, In my sleep, I get um, it's restless leg syndrome, it is called. And it is horrible. Like, that is my worst thing. I remember telling you guys last time about my heartburn. I've not actually really been getting heartburn as such for a good few weeks now. Now I've come to think about it. Um, But I've been getting restless leg syndrome, which is vile. Now, I had this with Dionte, but I didn't know what it was with Dionte. And it used to scare me because it used to feel like I was paralysed in my sleep. This time around, obviously, I know what it is and nothing really can prevent it. See, it says, oh, don't drink caffeine three hours before your bedtime. It says, don't eat sugary stuff three hours before your bedtime. It says, do... And I've done all of that and I still get it. So I imagine I'm just... It just happens to me. Um, The only way I can stop it is when I get up like in the night when it happens I just walk around for a minute and like I kind of like do squats and stuff um to stretch your legs it also says put your feet on the wall and like bend your legs but I don't really want to do that because I don't want to be putting my feet up against my wall and getting like footprints or something on my wall so yeah I do I just walk around my house like go up and down the stairs for a minute it's not painful it is just annoying because I could be so tired and it's like I really, really need and want to sleep. My body just isn't letting me. Staying awake then isn't an option because I'm really, really tired. So it's it just gets me in a bad mood. But um, recently, the past few days, it's not really been happening. But it, the other week, it was so bad. Like, I was so... I wasn't worried because there was nothing I could do about it. Like, I spoke to my midwife and there's nothing basically you can really do. So, yeah, there's there's no really prevention. I can see that balloon in the mirror. And I was wondering what it was and it scared me then. But, yeah, um, what else has been happening for me to tell you all? My baby shower. Um, I am planning on doing a baby shower. Um, 
I don't know when for. I'm probably thinking around the end of September, start of October. Um, I've just got to obviously try and arrange for that to happen. Um, I definitely would have been doing it around now if um, obviously venues and stuff were open, but it seems though they're not. And then, and I don't know anywhere that's taking bookings. Like people are finding places, and I'm asking people, and nowhere's telling me. No, nobody wants to tell me where they're booking. So. I've literally, it's like a goose chase trying to find somewhere to book a venue because I really, really want a baby shower. Um, I kind of just want like a little event for Dionte as well. As in like, we do the baby shower and it's something for us to go to, something for us to do. Um, if I do my baby shower, I am supporting all small businesses. Um, as a lot of my friends have businesses and... I'm not just going to go Tesco's and buy all this stuff when I can purchase it from my friends. And I want it to be really, really cute. So, yeah, um, if obviously I do that and you know any small businesses that do any decor or any um, anything that would just look cute with my baby shower, then let me know. Obviously, she's a girl. So, um, pink themed. Um, the next thing I have to update you all on is probably my next midwife appointment is on the 25th of this month. Um, I just had the appointments just to check up. Um, it's not, there's nothing wrong, like, or anything. People are so annoying. The next, um, thing to update you guys on is, what else? Oh, I have two injections booked in, two or three injections, I can't remember. Um... Two of them will be on the 1st of September. Or oh, is it 2nd of September? I don't know. I'd have to check my maternity notes. But, yeah, it's um, obviously at my hospital. Um, I have got my anti-D injection because me and the baby, we have different bloods. Like with Diante, so I have to have the anti-D injection to... Um, I think it's like the antibodies and all that. Yeah, whatever. So I've got to have that injection. And I'm also going to be having the whooping cough injection... If you don't know what it is and you are pregnant, please make sure you get it. Um, so important you get it. Like some people obviously are against vaccinations, which is fine. And if you don't want it, that's fine. I'm not going to judge. But if uh, obviously it's your choice, please get it. It honestly, I didn't realise that it actually does help. And um, there was a few babies actually... Um, They've got ill from their parents not having it. So, yeah, if you're pregnant, get the whooping cough injection because it will really, really help. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. Ignore my hands because they're going everywhere. Um, Yeah, so I've got them two injections. And I'm sure I have another injection, but I'm not too sure what it is. So I have to check and then probably get back to you all about that because I can't even remember. And I know that I have another injection might be the flu jab i think it's the flu jab actually um so yeah pardon me i've got to book in for that um i am also anemic which i told you guys last time so i need to go get my iron tablets which i've still not done um because when i got told i was a that anemic we then went back into lockdown meaning my gp was closed um, I did not realise till the other day I could have just gone and got them from that Asda or my local chemist because everyone was saying I need to go to my GP for it. So obviously I've been waiting for my GP and it turns out I could have had them all this time. My iron is really, really low. I feel it's getting better as I'm not actually that tired. Like today, I have been awake since half six and it is currently like nine o'clock in the evening. Um, I'm recording this video really, really late, by the way, guys. It's been so hot today. But, yeah, um, I am anemic, so I've been trying to eat as much as I can. And I think, obviously, because I I don't struggle with my eating, um, but I do... I'm... Oh, like, if I don't have a meal or or have something to eat, it doesn't affect me. Like, I can go about my day and it won't cross my mind to go and grab something to eat as in like a big meal um but now i've started to eat more i've started to eat breakfast lunch have loads of food throughout the day it has really really helped and i'm not feeling tired um i took a little nap earlier and it felt so good but that was because i've been awake since half six i don't know why 
I've literally just been on the go since half six this morning. Um, so yeah, like, but normally before I would have not been able to function in the day without having a nap and it was really, really bad to the point where like I literally couldn't function without having a nap. So I'm so glad. Um, I've not had no more morning sickness as I know around this time it starts to come back a bit. Then it goes again in a few weeks and it comes back again um, towards the end. And I've not actually had any. So I'm really, really thankful and lucky because I can't cope with being sick. If I'm sick, I cry. So, yeah, um, that's what else do I have to update you guys on? Because I feel like there's a few more things um, and I don't just want to miss out on everything. Um she's really healthy weight at the minute i can't remember what they said she was weighing but she's a good weight for where we are at um which is obviously really good um we have a lot of stuff for her it's more the essential stuff now i need to buy for her so um milk i will buy probably around october time like near when she's born as i'm just not gonna store it um all in my cupboard um because I'd rather have the room at the minute because I've still got a while to go. Um, my hospital bag I have started to buy for. So in a few weeks, um, when I'm 30 weeks, there will be a hospital bag pack with me video. And I am so excited for this video. I'm just trying to get obviously everything together. I've made a big list of what you need. So yeah, when that video is out, make sure you check it out because I'm really excited for it. Um, I feel 30 weeks, yeah, it's, that is still quite early to pack your hospital bag, but I want to be prepared. With Dionte, I never actually had to use my hospital bag. When I stayed overnight in hospital with him, um, my mum and dad just bought me some clothes and, like, some stuff. I didn't have my hospital bag, which was good. So this time I'm hoping to pack it around 30 weeks. Um, and then what I will do is... When I am around 35, 36 weeks, probably even later, obviously I don't want to leave it too late because she could come early. Um, I will then wash all of her stuff that's in her hospital bag and my stuff. And that is because um, I don't want to wash it at 30 weeks, have 10 weeks left um, because it's going to obviously collect dust. So what I'll do is I'll pack the bag and then around that time, around 34, 36 weeks, I will take the stuff out wash the stuff and put it back in um i have got a obviously a couple of plans for my hospital bag which obviously will be included in that video but yeah right now that is currently what i'm doing i'm preparing trying to prepare my baby shower which i really really want and i'll be gutted if i can't do one because i can do one but i don't really want to do it in my garden my garden is massive if you've seen on my instagram you will see that it is really big but I just feel like it's too much mess after. Like, the cleaning goes on for, like, a good week week after. Like, you'll be finding things in your garden. You'll be finding things. And it's just, it's just all long. So, um, I prefer to do it at a venue. So, I can clean up there and then leave it tidy. And then, obviously, the cleaners come and clean it. Um, so, yeah, if I don't do a baby shower, I will be gutted. Because I never done one with Diante. And I really, really want to do one. Um, I want some more pregnancy video ideas as so far I have quite a few in mind, but I would like to take other people's into consideration. Um, my next bump date will be 30 weeks. Um, probably, it probably might be even 32 weeks. I'm not sure, obviously, because like I said, my hospital bag one will be at 30 weeks and um, around that time and then I have another video planned as well for around that time so yeah I will be 30 weeks in September so like in a few weeks um but other than that I don't really think there's much to update you on um we are getting her travel system in September the end of September start of October just because of storage and stuff um so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna purchase that. So I can't wait to unbox some video of obviously getting all that set up. Can't wait. Um, her crib and everything. Recently, I have been going through what I've got for the crib and stuff, 
um, and all the essential items that I need and been ticking everything off I've got and everything that I need is obviously on my list on my phone. The reason I've done it on my phone is because I always have my phone with me. If, say, I pop into town and I can just quickly look at my list and go, okay, right, I've got that. If, say, my list is at home, I'm not going to know my mind until I get home and then I'm going to have to wait and more time I'm going to forget anyway when I go back because hashtag mom brain. So, yeah, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I will definitely obviously be doing some more hauls for you. I will update you guys if there's anything else to update you on. I'm so sorry, this video has been a bit crap. Um, but there's not too much to update you guys on. Like, not much has happened at all. Um, so, yeah, my next bump date will be either 30 weeks or 32 weeks. Obviously, you will just... You, if you guys follow my Instagram, which will be linked in the description box down below, then you will see, like, kind of when... um. I put on my story all the time. I'll say about when I'm going to put that up and whatever. So, yeah, make sure you definitely follow my Instagram because I do update a lot of stuff on there, um, which will be useful if you want to know things. And if you ever need to DM me about anything, I do reply. I'm not, like, a, I'm not horrible. I don't not reply and stuff. So, um, yeah, just message me if you need me, anyone and everyone. And I really, really hope you guys are enjoying the sunny weather because I am but it is boiling. I was attempted to do a photo shoot earlier. I didn't even go to plan because it was so hot. I couldn't obviously do my makeup because it was too boiling. It would have just came off. Um, yeah, I just, it just, it just failed. So I really, um, want to obviously do a little mini photo shoot in my garden when it's a bit cooler, but a nice day. Um, so you guys will obviously see the photos to that over on my Instagram. But make sure you give this video a like, comment and subscribe. Turn the notification bell on. I upload every Thursday and Sunday. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.